In this video, we are going to understand how to use OpenAI inside Pabli Connect. So we all know that OpenAI is a renowned application which can really help us in creating content. Like if you want to generate articles or blog with the help of certain titles, you want to automatically reply to the different comments that you receive on social media platforms or you wish to summarize a given content. Now everything can be done using OpenAI and how can you connect it with Pabli Connect and then integrate with different applications this is what I'm going to show you in this particular video so let me take you to my screen in this video I'm going to tell you how you can use open AI inside Pabli connect now we all know that open AI is a well-known application for the creation of the GPT-3 model which is a powerful deep learning model available for producing human like tests so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you certain examples how you can use OpenAI inside Pabli Connect. So let's say that we are using OpenAI to create certain blogs. So you have got certain titles in your Google Sheet or any other spreadsheet. Now with the help of those titles, you want to create a description like a blog or an article. How can you do that? So here I have already created this integration where first I'm scheduling it. Once I've scheduled it, so here is my Google Sheet. So I have connected this and here I have selected the spreadsheet. So let me show you the spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet that I have created. So these are the different titles. And now what do I want? That with these blog titles, a description or content should be created. So taking you back to Public Connect. So once this is done here, we can see that we have received our response in array format and then we had chosen another action application by Pabli, which is a feature by Pabli actually, iterator, where we have segregated our information row wise. So once this is done, now I'm going to choose my action step and this time the application would be OpenAI. So let's look for OpenAI, here it is. And the action event here would be to generate content. Let's click on connect. So once this is done, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the OpenAI account. Now to set up this connection, we are going to click on add new connection and here we need this token. So let me show you this. So this is how your website appears. You have to go to API. So here we can see that you can build next generation applications with OpenAI's powerful models. And now here on the right hand side, you can see the option login. Let's click on this. So once we have logged in here, we have reached the dashboard of this application. Taking you back to Public Connect, here it is asking me for a token to set up this connection. Now, since we have already logged in, we can Click on this hyperlink as soon as we do that. Here you can see that we have the tab create new secret key. So let's click on this. So as soon as we do that, the API key has been generated. I'm going to copy this, go back to Public Connect and paste this over here. And then click on save to set up this connection. So here we can see that OpenAI is now connected with Public Connect. Now we have to fill in this information. So we have to select the AI model, prompt, maximum token, sampling type, value, presence penalty, frequency penalty, stop sequence, etc. To understand what is this, I'm going to take you back to OpenAI. And here, let's click on this playground. So let's have a clear understanding of the working of OpenAI here. So as the name suggests, this is literally the most interesting part. Let me show you how. So to see the magic, I'm going to write here, write, a blog on the title let's say the title is positive thinking okay now as soon as I do that and click on submit here you can see that it is automatically generating human like text so it is writing a blog for me now isn't that amazing so here we have a beautiful blog on positive thinking now, my thing is, how has it generated this and can we change the length of the blog to understand this? Let's come to the right hand side where we have the settings. So first we have the mode and then we have the model. So here you have different models. We are going to go with text the 1C002. Why? Because this is the most capable model in the GPT-3 series it can perform any task the other gpt3 models can and it can process up to 4000 tokens per request which means that 4000 characters can be produced 
then we have the temperature basically this controls the randomness so if i take this scroll towards zero which means that i can get repetitive content if i take it towards one this means that i'll get absolutely unique content so it depends what do you want so let's say that i'm going to select this um 272 now the maximum length maximum length basically means that the numbers of tokens it is going to generate so let's say that you just wish to reply to the comments that you have received on youtube in a line or two so you can select the maximum maximum length to 256 or 300 if you wish to write an article or the blog then you can select it up to 4000 so let's select the maximum length as 256 okay 256 characters then the stop sequence now the stop sequence is absolutely important because the moment you put a stop sequence your api will stop generating further tokens which means it will stop generating more write up and here the stop sequence would be double backslash double hashtag you can select your own stop sequence now the frequency penalty top penalty and presence penalty basically it controls diversity here the frequency penalty can be anything between 0 and 1 it decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line verbatim and the presence penalty is that it increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topic then i'm going to select it as 0 only then we have the best of so here you can go up to best of 10 so you will get three or four outcomes depending on how many you have selected and within that you can select the best one so once this is over you have one more thing which is view code the moment i click on this here you can see prompt now this is absolutely important prompt is anything that is written above the content produced so this is your prompt understood taking you back to public connect here we are going to fill in this information so first of all the ai model so it has already been selected by the system now the prompt so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this I'm going to write write a blog on and then I'm going to write the title here to get this title I'm going to go to step 3 and I'm going to map this information so I'm going to select life is what you make it so once this is done then the maximum tokens so here I had selected 256 so I'm going to select the same and then the select sampling type so here you have got two options clear sampling and temperature sampling so since we need randomness i'm going to select temperature sampling then the sampling value so you can select the sampling value anything between 0 to 1 if you do not write anything here it will automatically take the default value which is 0 0.7 again the same case is with presence penalty and frequency penalty so you can enter the presence penalty value between minus 2 to 2 the default value is zero similarly frequency penalty the range is minus two to two you the default value is zero then we have the stop sequence so what have we written here double backslash double hashtag and then the best of let's say i want to select best of three and now i'm going to click on save and send test request here you can see that we have received the api response so basically this is our model and this is the text that we have received this is our blog isn't that fantabulous so basically this means that our integration process is a success so once i have received this blog what i can do is i can add another action step where i would choose google sheet as my action application and i would update the cell value with this information now let's say that you have got a youtube channel where you have uploaded different videos and every time there is a comment that is received on that particular video you want automatically to generate a reply now for this i have again set up this trigger application as youtube the event is new comment on a video so here i'm going to show you the channel so this is my channel and here i have uploaded the last video as business automation process so this is the last video that was uploaded so as i open this here you can see that there is a comment which is this is really helpful thank you so what i want is automatically a reply should be generated to this comment taking you back to public connect so here as soon as i selected this so it has captured the name of the channel and then i had selected the video and when i click on save and send test request so it has given me the 
comment. So what is my objective? My objective is to automatically receive a reply and then send it to YouTube. So here I'm going to choose the same application which is OpenAI. And here I'm going to select the action event as generate content. Let's click on connect. So again, I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. And then here, see the model has been selected. Now again, you can select the prompt. So I'm going to write the prompt as so my prompt would be write a reply to the comment. Then we have to map the comment. So I'm going to go to step one and here is my comment. So once done the maximum tokens. So I want to generate a short reply. So I'm going to make it 256. Then the sampling type. So the temperature sampling, this is what I'm going to select. Then comes the sampling value. So I'm going to leave it blank and it will take the default value, which is 0.7. And the stop sequence is backslash and hashtag, right? Let's say that it is best of five and I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as soon as we have done that, here is our response here is the text you're welcome so this is an auto reply isn't that amazing so this is how you can connect open ai inside public connect so here it can help you in generating different content you can write blogs you can write articles then you can write descriptive paragraphs here you can also reply to your comments on social media platforms so basically it is literally going to help you a lot i hope this video was helpful so you can find certain videos on how you can integrate OpenAI with Pabli Connect for different objectives. All those videos are there in the description box. I hope this video was helpful. If in case you wish to work on some particular integration, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.